Promix BK55 is designed to be used both in greenhouse production, also towards outdoor production. As it has a higher bark content, which makes it ideal for still for large, you know, for crops inside the greenhouse, but for containers that are a little bit larger, let's say six inch, maybe possibly as small as four inch and up, and certainly for outdoor uh, growing applications. It can be used for any crops that fit in those containers, such as perennials, mums, you could even use it for flowering plants, and possibly vegetables uh, or small fruit as well. The Promex BK55 is produced in our plant in Mattaponi, Virginia, so therefore it's distributed throughout the eastern United States. Promex BK55 contains the following ingredients. First of all, as the name suggests, BK55 stands for bark at 55% content. The bark is added to the growing media to help improve drainage, aeration, so that the mix will dry out faster. It also gives a little bit more weight too, so pots don't tip over as easily. We also add to that peat moss to help with water retention and perlite to give a little bit extra aeration and drainage to the product. So with that, we also add in a wetting agent, which is kind of like a soap product to help the peat moss and the bark to absorb water, as it can be a bit hydrophobic. We put in two forms of lime, the calcitic and dolomitic limestone. Calcitic lime is for initial pH adjustment, and the dolomitic limestone is for long-term pH adjustment, which we're aiming for a range of about 5.5 to 6.0. Then we also add a starter fertilizer charge to help get the plants off to a good start, but it's only intended to last seven days. Chromix EK55's physical properties are such that it has a very low water retention. The idea is with the extra bark that's added to there, if it's grown in outdoor conditions, it can shed the rain, you don't see as much water retention, so it can withstand a little bit more constant irrigation and then a rain event occurs. So it has a fairly fast drying capability. But as I mentioned before, because of the bark, it's a heavier weight product, which is another reason why it makes it good for outdoor growing. It certainly can be used indoor growing as well. Uh, again, the bark is just simply there for the drainage. So the particle size makes it more ideal for larger containers, and it does have a moderate, kind of heavier weight product uh, compared to our BK25 product. Chemical properties of the Promix BK55, uh, as I mentioned before, the pH is adjusted to 5.5 to 6.0. Keep in mind that the the water that's applied to the crop, the fertilizer, and the crop itself all influence the pH of the growing media long term, so you want to look at that before deciding on a fertilizer program. Uh, second thing is the, the pH could be a little bit lower if the product is fairly fresh, less than let's say one month old, because the moisture hasn't actually activated the lime, so again your pH is maybe a little bit lower. The next part of the chemical properties would be the starter fertilizer charge. As I mentioned earlier, there's enough in there for a seven day charge. So keep in mind, we want to begin fertilization within seven days of the, of the crop cycle. Now, the fertilizer selected should, again, consider the water quality, make sure it's matched with that, plus the crop it's actually designed for. And you want to maintain fertilizer application throughout the crop, uh, throughout the crop cycle. As far as biological properties, keep in mind that with any bark-based mix, there's going to be a plethora of different types of microorganisms in there to come from the bark and obviously from the peat moss. These microorganisms are good. They can help benefit plants and certainly because of their presence, help kind of become so populated that they actually ward off pathogens. Keep in mind that the product does not contain any plant pathogens, so there's no need to sterilize or pasteurize the growing media. And to this product, we can add active ingredients. Our first active ingredient is mycorrhizal fungi. And the mycorrhizae that we add is a glomus interatices, which helps to absorb water and nutrients and bring it to the plant roots the fungus can actually grow out into the growing media or soil where the plant roots are not present. The second active ingredient we can add is biofungicide. It's a bacteria that helps give off an antibiotic which suppresses damping off crown rot and uh, root rots caused by the fungal pathogens Alternaria, Fusarium, Pythium, and Rhizoctonia. And best of all, you could take both the biofungicide and the mycorrhizae, put them together, and get the best of both worlds from both, uh, both of these biological additives. In conclusion, the Promix BK55 is the ideal bark-based product to use both for indoor and also outdoor production. Because of its heavier weight, it won't tip over as easily as a BK25 would in the wind, and it's still a great product to use for indoor applications or multi-purpose, so one mix can do all. For more information, 
please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can get more information and videos where you can see weekly.